Luke chapter 18 verses 35 to 43 35 to 43 listen carefully God can change your life today my message is how to overcome the struggles of life how many of you are going through struggles amen we all go through struggles we all go through struggles every youngster goes through struggle every day is a struggle as you go on struggles increase they don't decrease but I'm going to teach you from the Word of God how to overcome struggles of life your struggle may be dealing with a relationship maybe your struggle is with finances some people all their life they're poor I know of a lady who came and told me that brother I gave my daughter to be married to one man she's a beautiful girl and this man he's a useless fellow he doesn't have a job he comes and hits her sends her back to her house I asked her why why amma why did you get her married to him she said for because they don't have a own house seeing that boy with an own house they got her married all her life no own house see what I'm trying to say is some people they struggle in poverty and uh, some people in sickness in habits you know how you struggle in habits if you got a bad habit it's very difficult to come out of it some people in relationship in jobs in weaknesses and to come out of the struggle we do many things anything they may give anything they're willing to give up their character they're willing to give up their life they're willing to give up anything in order to overcome the struggles but I have come to tell you today that there is a God who says I am the one who can help you to overcome your struggles and his name is Jesus can we give a clap to Jesus friends he says but he says I will begin to help you only when your efforts fail when your efforts fail you know what we do to overcome our struggles we go here we go there we go running in circles many of you are running in circles to overcome your struggles and Jesus says the moment you stop your efforts Jesus says I will start working amen if you want God to handle your struggles what you need to do is stop running in circles and look up to God and say Lord only you can help me Lord and God will help you to overcome your struggles in this passage three steps I found where we learn to overcome our struggles number one in verse 35 we read this is a blind man sitting on the wayside begging He's in darkness. A blind man is in darkness. He's in confusion. He's lonely. He's in poverty. And he's helpless. Sitting on the road wayside. And as soon as he heard that Jesus is coming that side, he believed. The first step is believing in Jesus. He believed in Jesus and started screaming, Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me. I want to tell you friends, in order to overcome your struggles, the first step is you need to believe in Jesus. People are ready to will, willing to believe superstars. They're willing to believe friends who will become soon enemies. Heroes become zeros. They're willing to be, believe in riches which Bible says takes wings and fly away. Riches will take wings and fly away. I've seen the richest people becoming paupers. They're willing to believe in their beauty, thinking beauty will last forever. But Bible says, uh, charm is deceitful, beauty is fake. Because soon the most beautiful will use anti-aging creams which will make them wrinkle free. Beauty is fake. Jesus says, don't believe in riches. Don't believe in beauty. Don't believe in duty. 
believe in me because I am the one who can help you to overcome your struggle. Can you give a clap to Jesus, my dear friends? And this man, blind Bartimaeus, is believing in Jesus and crying out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. When Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming, that's why he went and climbed up a tree to see Jesus. That very day he got salvation. The lady with 12 years of blood issue, issue of blood, 12 years struggling, she heard that Jesus is coming away. She ran and crawled and somehow touched the hem of his garment. And you know what happened to her? Immediately, her bleeding stopped. Why I'm telling you all this is, if you are sitting here like a blind man, in darkness, in confusion, not knowing what you are to do, Confused with your life, forsaken, lonely, sad, depressed and sorrowful. I want to challenge you today. Believe Jesus uh, because he can help you to come out uh, of your struggles. After all, there's no one in the world who has overcome death except Jesus. He overcame death. All other gurus are dead in the grave. But my Jesus has come out of the grave. He's alive, my dear friends. And he will help you today to overcome every struggle in your life. Can you give a clap to my Jesus? Give him a nice clap, my dear friends. If you are struggling, any struggle, any struggle, be it a relationship, be it a love failure, be it your finances, be it your beauty, be it your uh, family, whatever it may be, you need Put your trust to believe. Not in riches, they will take wings and fly away. Not in beauty, it will fade away and become wrinkled. Believe in Jesus. Amen. The second thing, second step to overcoming your struggles. Verse number 38, this man cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And you know what the people told the religious leaders? They said, shh. The disciples, whoosh, the great authorities and devotees and all the people around Jesus said, whoosh. Today morning we were buying some flowers for Auntie Colleen. I went to the florist and as I was buying, I asked that fellow, Yabolo, how much is it? Suddenly I heard my wife saying, whoosh. I was shocked. She's so used to shouting at the children. Shh. She's telling me, shh. I felt like being like this man has preparing this message. You know what this man did when they said, shh. He shouted all the more. He said, Jesus, have mercy on me. And you know, when he cried so loudly, Jesus stopped. Jesus stopped. Jesus was passing that side. Not, he did not come to heal this man. He came many places to heal people. He did not come to heal blind Bartimaeus. He was just passing by. But because this man cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped. Today Jesus is passing this side, my dear children. He's passing this side. He wants to touch you. He wants to deliver you from your struggles. He wants to help you. He wants to lift you from poverty. He wants to see you that you are high and lifted up. He wants to see that his name is glorified through you. He wants to see that your bad habits are stopped. But when he's passing by, if you sit, whoosh, nothing will happen. You need to cry out the name of Jesus. You know what Bartimaeus told? He told the religious leaders, my dear leaders, I respect you. My dear disciples, I love you. My dear authorities, I respect you. But I have to shout the name of Jesus because his name is above every other name and because of his name I can be saved. Can you give a clap to Jesus? Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. I do not know how many of you are going through troubles. Jesus was passing that side and he heard him. Today if you are crying within, maybe you cannot shout. But you are crying inside and saying, Lord, 
who can help me my jesus will stop for you he will stop and he will help you so whenever you see a person in drinks in alcohol in drugs in pornography don't condemn them because they are struggling to come out of it but there is a god his name is jesus and if you tell him that name he will get deliverance can you give a clap to jesus If you are struggling today I do not know what your struggle is just cry out the name of Jesus and he will help you my dear child he will help you Acts 2:21 it says whosoever calls the name of the Lord shall be saved whosoever you may be weak or strong you may be a sinner or a saint you may be a rowdy or a pawan whatever you are you may be a hindu muslim man christian buddhist jainist rapist anyone if you call on the name of jesus you will be saved can you give a clap to that jesus give him a nice clap Bartimaeus is looking at the religious leaders at the family members at the disciples at all the saints and saying i respect you my dear friends but his name is above every name i will not stop and he shouting his name and jesus stopped today jesus is going to stop for some of you in this place how many of you are really having struggles in life amen you're struggling today jesus says stop the struggles and call my name you need to believe him first and then call him he will come and help you i want to conclude with the third point which is a beautiful point mark chapter 10 the same passage is there in mark chapter 10 verse 49 jesus stood and commanded the blind man to come commanded the man blind man to be called to him you know what jesus is saying he's saying tell him that jesus is calling you amen today people are calling the rich they call the rich they call the wealthy they call the beautiful the strong the great the influential but here is the jesus calling the blind man jesus is calling him a struggling man and jesus tells him i know you believe me i know you called my name in spite of being stopped but one thing you need to do blind man listen one thing you need to do struggling daughter struggling son he saying I know if that is the blind man I know you believe me I know you're calling Jesus Jesus but one thing more you need to do you need to come closer to me you need to come closer to me come closer to me if you want to overcome your struggles my dear children the third step you need to come closer closer to Jesus the closer you get your struggles vanish you cannot sit in a pub enjoy your drink and say Jesus Jesus will come but you need to come out of that place and take a decision to leave that pub and come closer to Jesus You cannot sit and watch bad films and remain there again and again and say Jesus do a miracle in my life. This is not a magic show. You need to come one step closer to my Jesus. Some people think that they can do what they want, live as they like and just say Jesus Jesus will do miracle. No, no, no. That's why Jesus is telling this blind Bartimaeus, "Good, you believe me, I'm happy. Good, you're calling the name of Jesus every morning Sundays. Good, but you need to do one more thing. Come closer. Come closer to Jesus. You need to rise up and say, get up from your bad habits. Get up from your addictions. Get up from your weaknesses anger jealousy hatred strife get up and say i'm 
coming closer to Jesus. What I like about this man, it's in verse 50 of Mark chapter 10. You know what Bartimaeus did? He threw his garments. Immediately, when Jesus said, you need to do one more thing, come close to me. He threw his garments and he came running to Jesus. I want you to live, remind you, this man is still blind. He's still in darkness. No miracle has yet. He's still confused. He still hasn't seen Jesus. He's still a beggar. He's still so low. And he's still in shame. But you know what he's doing? He's getting up and saying, as soon as Jesus said, I want you to come closer to me, he's getting up and saying, I can't see, but still, I want to come to Jesus. Jesus, here, here I am, coming closer to you, Lord. He doesn't even know where Jesus is, but he's coming closer. Here I am. Hallelujah. He's still blind. He's still in darkness. He's still confused. But he says, I want to come closer to Jesus. I know of people who were healed and so they came to Jesus. I know of people who used to take drugs and they said, Jesus saved me so I'm coming close to him. I know of people like me who say, I'm, I came close to Jesus because he delivered me from alcohol. But here is blind Bartimaeus saying, I'm still blind. I can't see. I'm still a beggar. I still have nothing. But still, I'm coming towards Jesus because he called me. I'm coming to you, Lord. Today, Jesus is calling you, my dear children. He's calling you one step closer to him. How many of you will take a decision to come one step closer to my Jesus? to Jesus immediately he received his sight can you give a clap to Jesus immediately he received his sight today I want to challenge you friends we are going to take a decision and say Lord I want to come one step closer to you you are make it your prayer say it from your heart Just sweet, covered by your grace, so free. Say, friends, you. Since you laid down your life, the great. 
greatest sight.